Ed Janetta Miller of Hartford, Connecticut, is recognized as one of the most creative and colorful improvisational quilt makers in the United States. Her quilts can be found in both corporate and private collections, as well as many important museums, including the National Gallery of the Smithsonian in Washington. She told producer Dave Frazier recently that quilting studiously day after day gives her a renewed anticipation of what beauty will evolve from it. And he brings us her story. Quilting has become an absolute passion for me, and I absolutely love it. All right. From her third floor studio in her historic home in Hartford's Blue Hills neighborhood, Ed Janetta Miller makes her way to her sewing machine. Stacked floor to ceiling around her are shelves of fabric, kimonos, scarfs, and linens. Collections from around the world and around the corner. People just drop off things. They know you got fabrics, you don't want to use them, drop them off on Ed Janetta's porch. Miller's career started as a professional weaver, but for the past 30 plus years, quilting has become so her passion. Color. Today, she is considered to be one of the most creative and colorful improvisational quilt makers in the United States. Weaving was structural. If I wound threads, thousands of threads, and I sat there and I threaded my loom, and then in the middle of the loom there is this little bud bump there, knowing that it's an error. I have to take all of that out, start again, and in quilting, there are no bumps. If I look at it, and if it doesn't make my heart sing, I'll go upstairs and I cut it up and start all over again. As a child growing up in Rhode Island, her parents encouraged her to enter a more practical profession, saying art was financially risky. But Miller fell in love with fiber art. Her Aunt Dora, a nurse who quilted and sewed in the evenings, took her to museums, craft fairs, and the nearby Rhode Island School of Design. She taught me how to do so many wonderful things when I was very, very young. And she has, had followed my career until she passed away several years ago and was so proud that I took that little nourishing piece of my life and just had it explode. As an African-American woman, Miller has experienced many injustices throughout her life. During the pandemic, she began to make a list of all the things that have happened to her and created a quilt called I Have Known Injustice All My Life. So I got it out. I got it out through my writing. I got it out then through doing my quilt. Her piece for the recent textile center in Minneapolis weaves Black Lives Matter newspaper headlines and other motifs into bold red, white, and black geometric patterns. The colors, Miller says, is the blood we've shared and the blackness of us. I was glued to watching TV, the news. All I would watch is the news. It became more and more and more angry. So that's why I said, I've got to do something. I've got to do something. And doing something through telling my story of injustices through my quilts. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. It's so, so important, and we can never forget that. OK, so now what they're going to do I told them. In her trademark hand-painted silk headscarves and long dreadlocks, Miller spends much of her time introducing young people to quilting. On this day, she visited the Martin Luther King Jr. Middle School in Hartford to help students with a quilt they will make for their school. I want to impress upon young people, know your heritage. And that's why I teach at many, many different schools to talk about me as an artist about my trials and tribulation as becoming an artist, how you can do whatever you want to do. Got to put forth the effort, do a good job at it, and be kind. Miller's work can be found in museums and private collections around the world, as well as in the permanent collection of the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. She says as long as she is able, she plans to continue to enjoy the freedom, movement, and power given to creating the sculpture of the cloth. I love the feel, I love the smell, I love the colors. I mean, it just, quilting just takes over my life.